just landed in Washington, D.C. and oh, it's beautiful. The weather is nice. The sights are even better. We're going to be posting videos and clips. This will be our vlog for our Washington trip in Washington, D.C. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be right after this. See you on the next one. Right now we're in little Ethiopia in Washington DC where there's the highest population of Ethiopians. Right now we're in front of the Ice and Slice which Dr. Ross and I are actually going to to enjoy a little bit of their delicious cuisine which is Ethiopian pizza. As you can see there's some photos on the wall showing just a little bit of the deliciousness we're expecting. Dr. Ross and I ordered in advance for the ice and slice their specialty pizza. We'll put the name of it right here. But it looks delicious, smells just as good as it looks. And to add on top, they're the only Ethiopian restaurant that serves an Ethiopian pizza. So this is a first for us and a first for many. So if you haven't yet, definitely come by and visit Little Ethiopia in Washington DC. Let's give them a visit as they are very hospitable. The food is delicious. Bon appetit. Just got, I came and I just came out of the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. And we both received our Library of Congress reader cards, library cards, so we will be back. Um, they gave us a list of all the rooms that are open, so we're really excited for that. Alright, stay tuned and we'll... As we're walking towards the Washington Monument, there's a lot of individuals biking, there's a lot going on, along with the flags for every country, every state, I mean. 
but the Washington Monument is looking beautiful as always. And if you don't remember, with the planes that strike the US, they were supposed to hit the monument for the second one, but luckily, it didn't make it. That's right, and they were celebrating a lot of different events. They had the million, 100 million person march, 100 million man march. We don't know if it was a million people, but that's what they said. We're gonna put the photos right here. When everyone was here, this place was crowded. So IK and I are gonna keep walking up so that the people at home that are not in Washington with us can see the monument as well and feel like they're here with us. That's right, so we're just gonna do a little bit of a walk and talk, still giving you some insight on what's happening with the monument, how DC is doing, and also letting you see the beautiful landscape. Yes, and like IK said before, there's lots of people walking, running, biking, even though it's a little bit later at night, it's 69 degrees right now. Perfect. So, perfect weather. And you may be thinking, why are we walking at nighttime? That's just so we don't catch a lot of the crowd as the monument and all of the different historical landscapes are always packed. That's so right. it's best to get them at a time when it's not packed. It's nice and quiet. You can walk, do your thing, and enjoy. And like you saw later in this earlier in this video. IK and I have been all around DC all day today. We have been meeting with incredible people, as you can see in, before we came here, but as well as tomorrow, you're gonna see everywhere else that we go to. So stay tuned for that. That's right, it's been a full day ordeal. We're about to make it three. But to complete the tour of the Washington Monument, as you know, Dr. Ross and I are fit, so this is an easy little walk. We're gonna hop over this and make our way forwards. That's right. All right, just like that, just waiting for our full crew to make it so we can all give you this in-depth review. As you can see, there's even a few bicyclists with RGB rainbow spokes. That's like that's how you can tell if they're ready to go. A better view of it, a more up-close view of the monument. And of course, if you don't want to jump that wall, there's also a walkway that you can walk all the way up but I can't, I just want to jump it, but like you can see, there are pedestrians that can walk and bike up the street. So exactly. This is Sienna Ross. And this is Sebastian Ross. And we are writers of 50 children's books. We are political young people that have a voice. We would love for other teenagers to speak out and have a stance in America. We've written over 50 children's books to give people knowledge, and p knowledge is powerful. We wrote a new Taylor series speaking about Mr. Donald Trump as well as speaking about Miss Kamala Harris, young teenagers that are ready to start voting and ready to make a stance in America. My brother and I are taking Western hypocrisy and political science. We attend the Waco Police Academy for Teenagers every single Tuesday, and we shall serve in law enforcement at some capacity, as well as run for political offices in the up and coming future. Here you go, y'all. You got some options of things to watch from two black directors keeping us in the know. You know what to do. Keep it locked right here to the Amanda Seal Show. We've got more things to keep you in the know of because that's what we're here for. We'll be right back to the Amanda Seal Show. We are 